Hey everybody, it's Gina. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be breaking out the Instant Pot. So if you've had your Instant Pot in a box for months and months and have been too scared to break it out and make anything, this is the video for you. I'm gonna break everything down step by step, go through it with you, have you pause it so that you can gather all of your ingredients and all of your essentials so that you can make a great, simple Instant Pot pasta dish with vegan meatballs. So don't worry about it. I'm gonna be here to help you and let's get started. Okay, so right now I'm gonna show you everything you need to get together before we start our recipe. So first, of course, your Instant Pot. The next thing is some pasta. So I have three kinds here. I have a wheat-based pasta, penne, and then a brown rice pasta, which both of these are delicious. And then also a bean pasta. This is chickpeas. Now, this one is only eight ounces and all the other ones are a pound. So if you're going to use this one, make sure to have two boxes. Um, I've also used the Trader Joe's red lentil and black bean pastas and they're also really delicious. So any of those would work. Okay, so next we have your protein. So I use generally the Gardein meatless meatballs, but I also love the Trader Joe's meatless meatballs as well. So those are both great or whatever brand that you like. If you don't want to use a veggie meatball, you could use a bag of frozen vegetables or I've got some fire roasted tomatoes or you could use a can fresh or um, a can of any kind of beans that you like or lentils for protein. So just choose whatever that you'd like. One can of each um, for the meatballs will probably do about six to eight meatballs. And now sauce. So these are the three kinds of sauce that I had in my cupboard. <laughs> They're all great. They're all vegan friendly. And just choose whatever ones you like. If you can get a 25, I think these are 25.5 ounces, this is the size that you'll need for the recipe. And the last thing that you'll need is water. So once we pour the pasta sauce into the Instant Pot, we're going to fill the entire jar with that same amount of water, put the cap, the, the jar cap on, shake it, and add that to the Instant Pot. So make sure you have some water nearby. You don't have to pour it out like I did, but um, get that ready as well as any spices you'd like to put in. If you usually add some dried oregano or um, basil or anything like that, salt and pepper, get those ready as well. For this recipe, I'm just going to put in the basic recipes and no extra spices this time. The first thing I want you to do is to plug in your machine. So it's gonna make a little beep. So that means it's on, so that's good. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is to pour in our pasta. I'm gonna open this up, and I want you to pause if you need to as we go along and do the same thing as me. So we're gonna take our pound of, our pound of pasta and pour it in. Oops, that was loud. <laughs> okay, and then next, you're gonna take your jar of sauce. I usually shake it up, open it, and then pour the whole jar in. And then you can either fill this up at the sink or I'm just gonna fill it up right here. I just leave a teeny bit of space at the top so I can shake it up a little bit. Okay, and then pour that entire jar, whoops, <laughs> into the pot. And then open up your meatballs or your beans or whatever you end up using. And I think I'm going to use, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess I'll just use, I'll, I'll use that. <laughs> and now we're gonna mix it really well. And if you wanna come see what it looks like, all right, here's, here's what it should look like. All right, perfect. All right, great. All right, so now we're going to put the lid on. So this is some sometimes tricky. So I try to put it on slightly sideways and it makes a noise and then you wanna turn it so that it closes. And then here at the top, if you wanna come down here with me, it should be on the sealed position. 
People have different Instant Pots, but this one is how mine is. It's in the sealed position, so make sure that's where it is. Now we'll go over here to the front of the Instant Pot. And so I just want you to press manual and then go to the whatever arrows you have and go to four. And then all of a sudden it'll beep and then you'll know it start, it's going to start cooking. And what we're going to do is, oh, there we go. So now it's on. So all you have to do is leave it and it'll cook by itself. And then once it gets to the last minute, it'll kind of, just keep an eye on it. When it says a minute, it'll beep. And then after that, it will go to this left, it'll say L and then zero, zero, whatever. And that's how many minutes after this um, it's done, how long you want to leave it. So I suggest after it's done and it's on L that you wait five minutes. So it says L005. And then we're going to let out the steam. So why don't you let it go and we'll be right back. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but it says L005. That means it's been natural releasing for five minutes and now we can go to the next step. Are you ready? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to press the keep warm cancel button. So then it says off and now we're going to release the steam. Okay, so be careful when you let off the steam. Make sure there's like nothing behind it. You don't put your hand here. Um, use, use your hand and press, oh, press the release button to the side or whatever is on your particular Instant Pot. The steam is very hot, so be really careful. Okay, so now that the steam has stopped and it's all safe, now you can turn the top of your Instant Pot, makes that cute little noise, and then take it off. But again, it's very hot, so be careful. And this is what it looks on the inside. So this is how your pasta will look. It looks beautiful. So now I just give it a nice, whoops, I give it a nice stir. And now I'm going to plate it. <laughs> so let's, whoops. <laughs> Might not want to use a slotted spoon for this. <laughs> that was a slight mistake. <laughs> All right. And here it is. So here is the dish all plated up and I have some crushed red pepper on the side and some of our um, vegan parm, which the recipe will be coming soon. So keep an eye out for that. But here, doesn't it look amazing? Okay, so now I'm gonna have my husband, Ian, who is not a vegan, he's going to taste test for us. Okay, Ian, give it a go. That's very good, I haven't, I've had this before, but I haven't had the, the vegan farm, which, is, which does taste good. And uh, yeah, a little fresh red pepper on there. And I, I know I'm, I was already a fan of these meatballs, so it's delicious. <laughs> Big success. And I would always eat pasta on a okay. basis. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, we just wanted to wrap up and say goodbye. Sorry, Ian has to squat because I'm really short and he's really tall. I'm average height. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks so much for joining us today and hope we'll see you again next time. Bye. <laughs> see, that wasn't so bad. Now you've made your first recipe and now you have the confidence to try more. Now we have some more Instant Pot recipes on our World of Vegan website, but also on our Pinterest page, so make sure to follow us there. Um, and until then, if you still feel a little bit wary, just try this recipe a few more times, but change up some of the things that you add into it. Ch use different sorts of plant-based meatballs or different sauces, or add in different vegetables, fresh or frozen, different shaped pastas. Try that a few times until you get more confidence to expand into other areas. Some of the things that I think are great to try are simple staples like making brown or white rice, steaming potatoes, or cooking your beans. Those three are really great, easy, and I think it'll give you even more confidence to keep going and maybe doing you know, trying out a few more, more complicated recipes. <laughs> but for now, I hope this helped you and I hope you loved your pasta and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.
Hey, I almost forgot. I wanted to remind you to check the description box below for the link to this exact recipe and to the link for our information on the Instant Pot. We have a little blog about that too. So um, I also wanted to thank Ian for giving his feedback on the pasta. He's had it a few times, but he it's so cool that he loves it and I can just make it for the both of us. Um, I also wanna dedicate this video to my friend Jess who actually bought me my Instant Pot um, and was so understanding when I wasn't using it for months and months. So thank you so much, Jess. And this is also dedicated to my coworker, Amanda, who I hope will be making this recipe um, or has already done it with this video. <laughs> Thanks, Amanda. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye.